Aloha guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii and I'm really excited about today's episode because I think this camera that I'm going to share with you guys is going to be a game changer for those of you who like recording your underwater footage, whether it's spearfishing, free diving, anything on land, man this camera is going to enable you to get some crazy angles and I can't wait to share with you guys what it is. Alright guys, in today's episode, I'm really excited to show you guys our new channel sponsor that I'm going to be sponsoring the next few spearfishing and fishing episodes. And that is Insta360. This is the One X right here. This is a 360 camera. If you guys don't know what that is, it's anytime you record, press record, you don't have to frame your shot. It's pretty much capturing everything around you and you can frame the shots afterwards. I'm really excited to use this because they also have... A dive case this is a dive housing that's good for 30 meters pretty sure it's 30 meters that's like over 90 feet guys so unless you're diving over 90 feet this thing is cherry so I'm just really excited to see what I can do with these two cameras diving with them maybe mounting it on my spear gun and getting that 360 degree view so let's go ahead and open up some of the accessories they also gave me this selfie stick and I'm really excited about this too you guys will see in just a second dual battery charging dock an extra battery they even sent a micro SD card let's go ahead and open it up I'm gonna use my handy dandy two three dollar bait knife and the packaging is sick it's such a small camera let's pop that out right here I feel like I'm opening up a new smartphone. You know you guys buy a new phone. This is what it is right here. Chase Adventure. Pull that camera out. And this is a camera itself. Really smooth material. Doesn't feel too grippy. Like the kind of matte material like you'll see on the new Hero 7s. But it's super light. And for the kind of reviews and stuff that I've seen of this camera, the quality is awesome. And it's kind of crazy feeling how light it is. So it's got a little monitor in the front so you can show like the settings and stuff it doesn't have like a screen where you can see obviously because that'd be wild having a 360 degree screen right here but it does show the modes that you're filming in and the resolution and stuff and those buttons are all adjustable on the back here just has insta 361 x and this thing is probably just to show when it's recording that little dot right there that little line the only thing i would be careful of is setting it down because if you guys see the camera bulges on both sides that's where you're getting that 360 degree so if you're setting it down you're essentially setting it down on top of the lens so what i'm gonna do is just pull this thing out right here and get it and just put the camera back inside and then see what else is in the box here's the pouch right here bunch of stickers look at that Oh, not a bunch. This is just all the papers. But some cool stickers right here. I'll probably throw that on my Pelican. And then got the actual pouch, which is smart because like I just mentioned, it's not the most safest camera to just set down anywhere. And we'll just see how that fits right inside. Nice and snug and you're good to go. Wear it around, it's a little lanyard right here. Wear it around your neck. Preferably, I think you you'd probably wanna put it in upside down to keep the lens safe, but yeah, we'll just put this on the side for now. See what else is inside of here. Um, connect to your computer. It's probably what you also use to charge it, maybe. Here's the battery. Pretty small, but I'm used to small batteries from all the cameras that I have. Here is the bullet time accessory. So what this does is it goes in the back of your camera underneath it and you can get some sick angles. Now, let's open up the dive housing, the dive case, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> That was like the most confusing box I've ever opened. So let's see what we got in here. It's like a separate black box. Looks like we got some instructions in here, some dive mounts. So these pretty much work like with GoPro mounts. So it's pretty cool. And then a bunch of anti-fog inserts as well. So you're probably gonna be putting that in when you're taking the Insta360 underwater inside of the case. So let's see how the case looks right here. Because I know how small the camera is, but depending on how big the case is, it's kind of giving me a better idea of how I'm gonna be able to use it. So right here, oh, I got a little pouch, and here is the dive housing. Look at that. This looks like futuristic, I don't even know what you call it. Any of you guys play games? It looks like Apex Legends when you pick up the person's banner. Anyways, so this is a dive housing right here. It's obviously got the springs and stuff, the water type seal, and this is how you open it. So you just lift it, Pull this latch down and 
Oh, to stick the camera right inside. So what did I do with the camera? So do I just stick it in there? Yeah, okay. All right. That's it. Look at that. Sick. So you're gonna have these that attach obviously to the bottom of the camera. You got one that can be mounted. This is like the female part and then the male part right here. And then you just spin it on the back of this and your cherry. What I like too is that this thing on the top is adjustable. It's so right here, perfectly aligned. Not like that makes that much of a difference because it's gonna capture anything anyways, or everything anyways. So yeah, pretty cool. Make sure you put the buttons on the side with the buttons. And I'm really excited to take this in the water. And yeah, oh I forgot, I'll show you guys a selfie stick right now. So here is the selfie stick. Now when I was looking at reviews and stuff and other people using this camera, this thing is amazing. They call it the invisible selfie stick. When you're looking down or you, sh or you show like an angle towards yourself or whatever you're holding the selfie stick, this thing is like gone and it's kind of weird, like super sick software. If anything, you can just see the shadow in the background, but I'll show you guys how it looks in just a second. All right guys, so we are down in Hollywood right now, actually at Kayaka Bay Beach Park. Uh, I'm gonna be testing out the Insta360, pretty much walking around with it, kind of like a vlog test, as well as taking it in the water, depending on how the water looks. I brought my fins and my mask, and I kind of just want to see how the underwater footage is gonna look um, in 360, so it's gonna be pretty sick. My cousin and them are camping here today, so I'm gonna be stopping by and saying what's up, but yeah, let's go switch over to the Insta360 and, and see how good it is vlogging and underwater. So guys, it's around 6.30 ish. I could probably got about half an hour, maybe like 15, 20 minutes actually of daylight, and the water is pretty busted. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me try to zoom in. But it's pretty busted. I'm just gonna send it and see how it comes out and then kind of just see how what can I what I can do with the footage and stuff and see how well it will be when I actually go spear fishing on a nice day. So I'm just going to jump in the water real quick with the Insta 360 One X and then see how it comes out. just took the Insta360 in the water. It's pretty rough, it's pretty shallow, and it was pretty dirty, but hopefully the footage came out cool. I'll go check it out um, when I edit it tonight. But the wind has kind of died down, so maybe you guys will get a more realistic idea of how the audio sounds with this camera. And it's also pretty dark. The sun's a, the setting right now. It's already set, actually. So um, this is kind of a good low light setting as well to see how well it does in like darker areas, maybe indoors or outside early in the morning or late at night so pretty cool Won't you lay here?
guys i really hope you enjoyed today's episode man this camera has been such an amazing addition to what i do here at fish and dive hawaii and i can't wait to share the next episode because i'm actually going to feature it while i'm underwater spearfishing it's going to be really cool unfortunately some of the other footage got deleted i accidentally reformatted my cards but i mean there's nothing i can do at this point so um yeah check out the next episode if you guys want to see it live in action and if you guys want to check out the camera please click one of the links below and see you guys in the next episode shoots mahalo see you later Bye bye